got a girlfriend. <laughs> <laughs> what? Um, what? No, I just said I've got a girlfriend. So, what? I got the thought that I can't get with anyone else like me, I didn't just got with them. Oh, no, I'm happy for you. Thank you. Bit of like a cringe question, but that just should make you happy. <laughs> it's hard to be a single mum, right, and try and find a lad who will actually accept that you've got a child and you're a 19-year-old girl with a baby who lives Most on your own. Most guys will accept girls Most guys won't around. accept that, yes, Stephen. Nobody, yes, Nobody won't. Nobody won't. Right, well, that's something we have to disagree on then, OK? But I'm, I'm fed with this minute, right, and I don't need you on top of it, OK? I don't want you being upset, so I'm going to say he's probably not worth it, but you don't want to hear me saying he's not worth it because all you want to do is start having a go with me. You tell me how I wanted you, you, what you want me to say about this now to you, then. I just want you to be there for me. I know he wasn't brilliant. Maybe that's why I didn't have feelings for him. I don't need you telling me things. I just wanted to say, you know, Steve, right, you're the only person in my pissing life right this minute. I've got no friends what bother with me or anything, right? Don't cry. Don't cry. As much as we both think we're on our own and we both listen that, you know, I think we've literally got what we need. I don't think you realise how much of a good dad you actually are. Mm. I think you're very supportive. You will do anything for Brooklyn. You'll put him first before anyone. If he wasn't in mine and Brooklyn's life, then I think we would both be lost without you. And I do like, actually, I, I do love you, like, for everything you have done and everything you will do for us. Can you hear it, Steve? Yeah, because, yeah, I did. Mm. Loved every bit of it. OK. You telling the mother of your son your child, what you think she does really well as a parent? Loves her son. You <laughs> obviously love your son to bits. Does everything for Brooklyn's sake. Makes it clear how much he means to her. I could have it loved more. Did you hear what he was saying? Yeah. Yeah. What would you do if I wasn't with Kirsty now? Um. At the end of the day, right, there's certain things I'm going to limit myself to saying because you are in a relationship. If one day you are single and, you know, you've been single for a few weeks, whatever, I don't care however long, right, maybe I will open up to you and maybe I will start telling the truth. And maybe then you'll get out of me, but unfortunately I'm not going to do it to myself. We are good. Like, at the end of the day, if we are actually going to be together for a whole life and say to we're like 90. Like we put both of our effort into each other and a lot of our effort into our son, and like that should just come together. Everything we've been through, and all the ups and downs we've been through, and that's how we've hated each other's guts. That's how we say we'll never ever be together again. Look where we are now. It's well, like no, a movie. Two on the way. What is it? Finger story. Not no, Fairy tale. Fairy tale story, yeah. And that you end up falling in love with a girl, having a kid with her. Because I never thought I'd ever get the girl who I want you back. And I never thought you'd ever want me back. Do you know what I'm back today? What? Steven, Robert, Le Robert, Lee, Rankin. Will you be my boyfriend? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, say it's, it's official now. It's just like deja vu. How are you feeling, Steve? Happy. Proud of her. 